Curtis Walker, professionally known by his stage name Curtis Blow, is an American rapper, singer, songwriter, record film producer, b-boy, DJ, public speaker, and minister. He is the first commercially successful rapper and the first to sign with a major record label. The Breaks, a single from his 1980 self-titled debut album, is the first certified gold record rap song. Throughout his career, he has released 15 albums and is currently an ordained minister. He also holds the honor of being the first rapper to become a millionaire, the first rapper to create a rap music video, and the first rapper featured in a soap opera. Curtis Blow has an estimated net worth of seven million U.S. dollars. Curtis Blow Early Life Curtis Walker was born on August 9th of 1959 in New York City. Raised in Harlem, Curtis attended CCNY and Yak College after graduating from high school. While enrolled at these post-secondary institutions, Walker studied communications, film, and ministry. Curtis Blow's Professional Career Adopting the stage name Curtis Blow, Walker began his rapping career in 1979 at the age of 20. He was signed by Mercury Records, which quickly released Blow's first major single, Christmas Rappin'. The single soon sold over 400,000 units, becoming a future Christmas staple and one of the first ever commercially successful hip-hop singles. He then released the album, The Breaks. The title track of this album sold more than half a million copies, earning gold certification. Over the next 11 years, Curtis released 10 more albums. This included Curtis Blow and a more pop-inspired album called Deuce. Another notable album was Party Time, which was a fusion of both rap and go-go music. In 1985, he gained attention for creating a music video for the track America. The album of the same name also featured If I Rolled the World, which charted at number 5 on the R&B charts. Nas would later cover this song in 1996, and his version achieved double platinum status. By 1983, he had begun to veer towards production as a career. He worked with artists like Run DMC and the Fat Boys at first, later expanding and producing music by Russell Simmons, Wyclef Jean, and Full Force. He also explored various acting opportunities, appearing in movies like Crush Groove. In addition, he helped produce a number of films and documentaries, earning considerable praise for Slippin' 10 Years with the Bloods. He is also a producer for the Netflix show The Get Down. In recent years, Curtis has been heavily involved with the Christian faith, having become a born-again Christian in 1994. He later founded the Hip Hop Church in Harlem and is now a worship leader and licensed minister. Curtis Blow Health Issues in 2020, it was reported that Blow was successfully recovering from a heart transplant surgery. The surgery was completed in Los Angeles. This came after Curtis suffered a cardiac arrest in 2016, only surviving due to the actions of four police officers who saw him collapse near a mall. Another heart issue came in 2019 when it was reported that Curtis had gone through surgery to repair an aortic artery. Unfortunately, he suffered a complication while recovering and a second surgery was urgently required. About Curtis Blow and Universal Hip Hop Museum Curtis Blow is one of the co-founders of the Universal Hip Hop Museum, which is set to open its doors in 2023. The museum has received a $3.5 million grant from the state of New York. Curtis has stated that his museum will feature avatars and holograms and virtual reality. Thanks for watching and kindly don't forget to subscribe. You may also like and share this video.